Hello, this is Joanna Conde again, and this is AI for Seniors. And today we're going to be talking about what's on the chat GPT screen. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screen and get started. Okay, so here we are at our first screen, and I'm going to go over it fairly quickly. You won't have temporary up here, but you will have this little circle with your initials in it. And there are all of these things that you could do under it. We're not going to be talking about task because that's in beta form and it's not available yet in a really good form for things. My GPTs, you're not going to have those. But I'd like to talk about customized chat GPT. So when you hit that button, you get this screen and it says, what do you want chat to call you? So if you want chat to call you by your first name, put it in here. If you want to make up a nickname, put it in. This way it makes it more personable. Okay. What do you do? Are you retired? Do you work part-time? Are you a volunteer? What do you do? This is the personalized chat so it can talk to you. And as you go through chat, you will find that chat will give you a lot of information personalized just to your interests. Anyway, go ahead. What traits should chat have? So if you click on this, describe the traits, we'll go down here, use the down arrow. You might want it to be straight shooting, that's me. I also like it to be encouraging and maybe forward thinking. So I tell chat the things I like. What else? You might want to say you love golf or that you like to volunteer and you work at animal rescue centers or something like that. You don't have to put a lot in, but it gives it a little bit of hint. Now you can enable that for new chats and you save. And that's what happens up here. Now you have the center. When ready, when you are, ask anything. I'm going to have a whole program on searches. So we'll talk about searches and we'll talk about how to ask questions, which is really a whole episode in itself. But here we have a plus sign. You can upload files, you can upload pictures, you can upload documents. For example, you might want to press the upload sign and upload a contract that you want to go over and have it just say, what are the important things? What are the things that should question? You'd be surprised at what it can do. Then there's search, which is the same thing as doing the up arrow. Deep research, which is very deep, extensive, and you have to have a paid version to get it. And you can also have it create an image, which again, you have to have the paid version to have it create an image. So view the tools for creating an image. Anyway, you can summarize text, analyze, surprise me. Now, you also can use the dictate, and I'll try this, allow while visiting the site. And now you can say, chat, please tell me how a senior might want to use the deep research tool. Now you click over here. That stops the question. Now you press the up arrow. And now you have a whole lot of things, but you can do that on your own just by asking it a question. Okay. All right. Now we're going over to the left of the screen and the left of the screen is called the sidebar. You can open the sidebar or close the sidebar. If you close the sidebar, you won't see it. Open it, you can. You have a magnifying glass and that will search your chats for something. And I'm going to put in the term Android one of my former chats did I mention Adric? I used it, how to put chat on a phone, common scans, starting seniors, and common senior scams, so that I can find. And all I would have to do would be go to that, and it would tell me about putting chat on an Android phone. Now, this is new chat. Again, this is also a new chat. Sora, we're not going to bother with. It's very deep. Explore GPTs. You can hit that button, you get a big screen, and you can explore the different ways that you can use chat. Library, I have pictures in a library, and that's what it's bringing up. I have a map, I have some other pictures, that's where you keep your pictures. Under projects, we have over here on the left, AI for seniors. This is a project I'm working on, and when I have this open, you can see all of the chats that I've required I've been researching and working on so far. You can use this for something like 
how to plan my son's birthday party, how to plan an anniversary party, all sorts of things that might be a project, you know, how to organize a, a charity event. You could do that. Here you have today I did senior deep research guide. Remember, I just typed that in and now it has that's what I searched on chat today. Yesterday, chat GPT questions part one. I was doing some research on what questions to ask and how to ask them. It's stored under that. And then previous seven days, what is GPT and others? Okay. Don't have much there because this is a new chat. All right. Which I've started particularly for AI for seniors. So that's it. That's it in a nutshell, the pages. And this was created for another one, by the way. So anyway, I'm going to stop my share and say, that's chat GPT for seniors, AI for seniors today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it and you did learn something, please keep, you know, pick the like area, thumbs up area below and follow us. And thank you again for joining us today. Again, Joanna Conde for AI for Seniors. Thank you.